I'll go talk to Seacard and see if I can talk to something to him. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be extremely helpful. I honestly don't know what to say. You're not just saying anything. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Seagert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. How often have you tried speaking to Seagard yourself? The first time I brought up the subject, we got into a huge argument. Seagard said he had every intention of paying Neon security and that it was final. After that, I tried to speak to him a few times, but he's always been too busy to spend the time to sit down and have a decent conversation. It's obvious he has no intentions of talking to me anymore. I honestly don't know what I did to make him so angry with me. Thanks for stopping by our shop. Hi. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset, but Administrator Bayou came by for you. <coughs> Welcome to Newell's. Ooh. Let me know if you need help with anything. Sounds like I'm the one who should be helping you. Do I sound that awful? I didn't even realize. Terrible, just terrible. You'll have to excuse me. With all the ruckus my husband's been making at the Merchant Alliance meetings, it's difficult to get any rest. Poor old man has himself mixed up in a foolish crusade against Dietrich Sieghart who he's angry at for paying off Neon security. Who is Dietrich Seaguard? He runs Seaguard's Outfitters. It's right outside the spaceport terminal. I suppose you could say he's our only real competition. If you ask me, he isn't such a terrible person. Please don't tell James I said that. Why would Dietrich Seaguard be paying off Neon security? For protection, I assume. They apparently target certain businesses with some type of safety assurance fee scheme. We've been spared that indignity so far. But it's absolutely disgraceful this kind of thing is happening. What's this merchant alliance? It's a little group James formed, with some of the other vendors on Neon. I'd call it more of a support group. Because all they do is sit around and complain about how hard it is to run a business here. I don't think Seagard's doing anything wrong. I don't believe he is, no. I think my husband has Dietrich all wrong. He's probably doing what he has to do, to survive. Just, um, please don't tell James I said that. I don't want him to think his own wife is doubting him. Why are you convinced that your husband's wrong? It's just a feeling that I have about Dietrich. I'm sure he's paying off Neon Security because he has no choice. He can't afford to fight back like my husband expects. Does James know you don't agree with this crusade? I have no idea. Anytime the subject comes up, it turns into an argument. Frankly, he's so obsessed with this Dietrich situation, I don't think he's listening to me at all. I've already told James I'll get to the bottom of everything. Well, thank you. I can't remember the last time a total stranger walked into our store and offered to help. It would be so lovely to see my James happy again. He used to smile at me all the time, you know. Now all I see is worry on his face. I suppose you can speak with him about it if you like. But perhaps you'd like to browse our store a bit before you do? Do you mind telling me how you and your husband met? Oh, he'll be so upset for me telling you this. But it's such a funny story. I can't resist. James and I used to work on the Chasm Bass line at Xenofresh. We didn't do any of the Aurora extraction, just dealt with the leftovers. I was a supervisor on the line, and when the alarm went up that it had been stopped, I investigated. I find James inside a storage vat, up to his shoulders in stinky fish guts, and blind as a bat. The gut got in his eyes, you see. I had to walk him to the showers, strip his work clothes, and hose him down. When he saw me standing there, he turned bright red. <laughs> After the shift ended, we went out for a terror brew and talked. A year later, we were married. <laughs> Better times. Better times. What's your opinion about Dietrich Seagard? Dietrich is actually quite a lovely man. Though lately he's been under a lot of pressure, which has made him rather bitter. When we first opened our business here in Akuchi Market, 
He was actually very helpful. Offered us advice. Didn't treat us like competition at all. I'm sorry, I just don't believe Dietrich is doing anything wrong paying off Neon security. We all do what we have to do to survive in this wretched city. Unfortunately, my husband is convinced that fighting City Hall is the way to solve all of Neon's problems. I think he's wrong. You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Nah, I'm feeling a little burnt out. I think I need a break. How about hitting up the rooftops and watching lightning hit the span? You know, that actually sounds like a good idea. Great. I'll bring the blend, you bring the chunks. It's a date. A quiet Some people are into stargazing, things. but like Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. What exactly do you sell? The question should really be, what don't we sell? We carry a wide assortment of equipment perfectly suitable for stellar exploration and extraplanetary excursions. Best selection in Neon. I'll take every artifact you have in stock. An artifact? Are you making this up? Well, like I said, if I don't have it, you don't need it. But I have a lot of other things you need. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. This is quite an impressive shop you have. Thank you for noticing. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Hmm. Sounds like someone didn't do proper financial planning to me. You'd think that was the case, but I promise you, I budgeted for everything. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? How long have you been in business? I've been at this location for the last eight years, but I've had a business in Neon for almost 20. As soon as Ryujin broke ground on the tower, I knew the city would start swarming with people, so I went all in. I love this business. It's my life. I can't imagine doing anything else. James Newell objects to your paying the security protection fees. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Newell says if the Alliance is unified, you can stand up to Neon security. Easy for him to say, he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexla, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. And why is that? Rosa said that? I remember when her and James first started. They were very green. It was... A different time. Okay, you've convinced me. I will stop paying Dexla his safety assurance fee. And tell the Newells I will come to the next meeting. Maybe I will even bring some beverages and snacks. You can't stand up to Neon Security on an empty stomach. Yeah, it's done. I can, oh. If you're looking, feel like making a purchase today? Dietrich has agreed to stop pay payments. Well, I'll be. And all you had to do was talk to him? Yep. Sometimes that's enough. But it's convincing. I don't doubt it. Like trying to wipe the slime off a chasm bass. Oh, let it go, hon. If Sieghart says he's in, 
that's all that matters. Yeah, I guess you got a point. Thanks for your help on this. The Merchants' Alliance is finally united. I don't know if we'll ever get a fair shake in the city, but it's a start.